the system tells us what's good for us. If I eat junk food, I'm going to feel like crap. Yeah. So the question is whether you're just going to keep getting seduced into certain things that, that are not healthy for us, and that's obviously just one example, though, though the food we eat is actually a component of what can alter our frequency, hence why there actually is an adversarial agenda role in how we feel and, and how optimal we can be. And if it wasn't the case, if it wasn't so important, there wouldn't be such an agenda. As the game has accelerated near the midnight hour, that's why it is so tainted now. And really, we're meant to have evolved to the point where we can discern and hopefully have broken the bad habits we might have been raised with or influenced by. Uh, we're meant to basically have evolved to a level now where we see it for what it is. Along that with every choice that we make, it's in choosing everything. The choices on the daily yeah. and this is the thing your spirit will always indicate to you what you need mm -hmm. and what you should and what you shouldn't do your spirit will always tell you will yeah. always give you the indication so if you don't listen to your spirit let's say for example you know you you aren't you know you're not doing what your spirit's telling you and you have that that internal compass that internal feeling that you you know you should have listened to this but you didn't and you went that way mm -hmm. it's it's like to you know you hit that um a fork in the road and you have two options you go right or you go left right is going to take you you know to where you should be and left is going to be where probably you shouldn't be yeah so it's in in every thing that we choose and the temple it's not just what's in us it's our universe it's our infinite verse it is the inner and the outer it is comprises of everything in existence mm -hmm. though because of the flesh makeup and the flesh temple is still within the duality itself that's why we can't necessarily escape the tainting because it was in a way designed to be exposed to tainting and just like now for example with the chemtrails because uh, i just want to elaborate on what i was saying we can't avoid the tainting because it's in the air that we breathe right now. So you can't avoid it. It's in the soil. It's in the air. There is no avoiding it. You, you could you live in a bubble and you aren't going to avoid it. So it's in the air now. It is part of the Satan influence, which is very uh, markedly present at the moment. However, we have to be aware that it is a spiritual battle that is taking place. And it's a spiritual battle when you go to the supermarket and, and you choose and you have a choice to be vigilant in the war. You can choose to minimize the level of exposure to harm. Mm -hmm. And that's really where, again, it's scales being measured. We're meant to be tipping the scales to yeah. the positive. We're meant to say no. We're meant to change things and tear down the old paradigm so the other thing the other aspect is that and i mean we're not here yet obviously but eventually we will get to a point because everything is a frequency it'll get to a point where none of these things will impact you because your frequency is the ultimate frequency and all the other frequencies are just trying to hack you so if you're the ultimate frequency of it all then all these other minor little frequencies aren't really going to damage you. We're going to the place where we and our frequency, because it's the ultimate frequency, it will override all that. We're not there yet. Mm -hmm. We may not even be there until the convergence happens. It's hard to know, you know, but we aren't here yet. Maybe some people have managed to be there throughout, you know, creation, but... Yeah, some more than For the most part, we all, for now, we have to change 
what we can in our lives in the way that we can. And that is everything that you were saying, making wise choices and and maybe demanding that things change in how they're done. For now, everybody has has to take life into their own hands and be responsible for their choices on the daily as we evolve. Well, that's the thing. And this is part of the reason why uh, the internet has been introduced as a window of opportunity because it is now the age of uh, information as well as dis- disinformation. Again, it's a dual- duality game being played out. So, so there is the truth in amongst the the misinformation and the disinformation. So, it, but it is there presented as an opportunity to sift through it for those obviously uh, planted in areas where they can access the internet. And there isn't really much excuse left. When you have access to information, we know the dangers of GMOs. We know the dangers of vaccines. Mm-hmm. So, and it doesn't matter. The media is going to do its job. Their job, their job is to often promote yeah. the agenda. The ones in charge of the media, the conglomerates, are the ones who are saying that they're here to be negative and that's our role to be the adversarial ones and to provide the catalyst for choosing positive or negative. So... They're doing their job is the way they say. So, uh, and, and regarding vaccines, I haven't read one impartial, unbiased article in favour of not getting vaccinated. It has all been, yeah, you know, no, oh, there's, there's all safe, blah 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 blah. It's going to get to a point where where these flus and their they're going to be year round. It's not going to be a flu season. It's already happening now. The, the flus are year round. And that is because the people who are getting vaccinated are introducing the viruses. Mm-hmm. This is all agreements of entrapment, though the inverse is being applied in the media, that they're being accusatory of those who are not being vaccinated. So uh, that's that's the inversion in play. And, uh, you know, that's the game aspect. People's resolve is going to be tested uh, through these times. And, and uh, that is part of the the duality framework uh, that we're here and we're here to overcome the world system as the Bible exclaims. You're either going to be overcome by it or you're going to overcome it. 